Chris still has an Aaron Hernandez poster up? That's not cool. See? There's nothing here. Just a weird life-size lady doll made out of all the stuff that got stolen. No! Don't hurt Heather! Don't hurt my girlfriend! What the hell? Chris made a sex doll? Your kids got a walk-in closet? Two of mine got to sleep in the car. Hey, Chris, your mother wanted me to talk to you. Um, she doesn't think it's healthy for you to be spending all your time with a homemade sex doll. Sex doll? I wish Heather hasn't even let me get to second base. Wait, hang on. What's second base? Is that touching one of the cabbages? Yeah. Oh, but I'm such a loser. She'll never let me do that. Come on, Chris. Don't sell yourself short. You are every bit as good as that bag of garbage. You really think so? Sure I do. And look, if you really want to learn how to bang that thing, there's no better teacher than your old dad. After all, I'm the guy who taught old Asian people how to get on the subway. Ah! Out of the way! Nobody else matters! All right, you made it. Now twirl that long hair sticking out of your face mole. And cough. Cough like you never coughed before. <laughs> look, Heather. The truth is, I don't care if we never take it to the next level physically. I just really like spending time with you. <laughs> wow, I am going to have to write to somebody about this. Dear Penthouse, I used to think these letters were fake until my taped together soccer ball headed girlfriend fell in my lap. Hey, do we still have a magazine? Good morning, everybody. I think Heather will be eating breakfast standing up this morning, if you know what I mean. Peter, I thought you were going to take care of this. You were supposed to make Chris get rid of that doll. I did take care of it. He slept with it, and now he'll slowly grow to hate it over the next 20 years. Oh, Lois, thank God. Listen, I can't decide what I want for breakfast tomorrow. Can you make me a sample tray? You know what, Peter? I'm not talking to you right now. You screwed up bad with Chris, and you still haven't apologized for the way you treated me earlier. Oh, come on, Lois. I'll make it up to you. Maybe sooner than you know. They're beautiful. You're such a sweetheart. Read the card. To Heather from Chris. Oh, I thought it might have a funny riddle on it. Oh, good, the flowers came. We're just cocooning today because Heather said she's never seen TV, so we're starting with season six of Becker. I'm just going to be easing her in. Lois, before you say anything, I also got you a gift. It's a Katherine Heigl mask for you to wear while we have sex. She's perfect because she's only sort of hot, so there won't be this crazy disconnect of her face on your body, which would totally take me out of it. Also, it's designed so you can wear it on your butt. Heather, I made your favorite cookies, and now I want to hear all about your day. Hey, Lois, I heard Katherine Heigl likes to French kiss. Oh, my God. Chris treats that pile of junk better than Peter treats me. What's the matter, Lois? Need to get in the mood? How about a little help from Kenny G? I wonder if Cleveland's gonna want his sax back. Oh, hi, Chris. Where have you been? Heather and I went for a tandem bike ride and then had lunch at a gastropube. Nope. Huh. Sounds like fun. What have you guys been up to? Your father got a DVD of black people fighting in the street. It's not just in the street. Some of them are in private residences. Oh, well, uh, tomorrow Heather and I are going to the park to picnic and fly kites, and on Saturday she's hosting her book club, so I have to drop by, say something funny, and then stay upstairs. Wow, your plans sound very sweet and romantic, Chris, and how a man should treat his woman. Oh, Lois, your breath smells like eggs. Talk that way. Chris, when you go on your picnic tomorrow, can your father and I come with you? Uh, let me just ask Heather. I know, but I think we better. Oh, apparently the cancer is already in his bones. What? We'd love to. Sounds great. Wow, it sure is fun going on a picnic, isn't it, Peter? Yeah. Will you hold this beer bottle while I try to kick the top off it? Ow, damn it! You moved it. 